Hello everyone, my name is Ephraim and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to share with you regarding this Samsung uh, wireless rear speaker kit, the SWA9200S uh, speaker. So in this video, I want to share with you basically the introduction of the speaker and uh, the availability, the compatibility and also the uh, whether uh, how to actually set this uh, speaker up and also I will give you a conclusion on whether you should get this speaker so just watch through and I hope this video helps you alright so uh, a basic introduction uh, of this speaker is that this speaker is uh, launched in May 2022 uh, I'm filming this video is in June 2022 so if uh, whenever you watch this video uh, probably it will be available in your country uh, as I've done research, currently this speaker is selling in Hong Kong and also in Malaysia. I have uh, asked Samsung US, uh, they told me that this uh, model is still currently out of stock. So I believe that uh, the stocks are not yet arrived. So do wait and see whether it will be available in your country. So this 9200S is an upgraded version of the 9100S. Okay, that is the 2021 model. The difference now is that now they have actually uh, removed the wireless receiver. Previously, there's a wireless receiver. Now, you only get two speakers with built-in receivers. So this is very similar to the more expensive uh, one, which is the 9500S. Okay, do take note that this um, model, okay, does uh, support the 2021 soundbar and also the 2022 soundbar. So I will put a uh, image here and I will show you uh, what are the list uh, of uh, models that is uh, able to support uh, for this uh, Samsung wireless rear kit. Okay? Alright, talking about um, whether this uh, speaker kit will be available in your country, whether uh, it will depends. Alright, because uh, for my research is that Singapore does not import this uh, wireless rear kit. Okay, uh, the 2021 model and this 2022 model is not available in Singapore. And for those who of you who are in Singapore, uh, I believe there are sellers that actually import the Malaysian unit to Singapore. Yes, it actually works and a lot of uh, people actually get from Malaysia. But then of course the uh, warranty will be in Malaysia rather than in Singapore. You just have to take note of this. All right, so let's go on to the next thing I want to share. All right, so now I want to talk about what do you actually get in the box itself. All right, so this is actually the box uh, itself. All right, and uh, on the side here, there's all your uh, information, your serial number, and what you actually get in the box, okay, first of all, is uh, actually the uh, warranty card and also the instruction manual. Let me see if I can just uh, open this up right here. Uh, let me see. Uh. Alright, there you go. So in here, there is the uh, user manual, right? The user manual, uh, the warranty card, right? And also all the, uh, these are the plastics that hold the speaker, right? And there's a styrofoam that hold these two speakers. Okay, so what I've taken out right now are all this. So what I do this, I, I will just put this aside, all right? So I want to talk about the speakers. All right, so in the box, you actually get two speakers. All right, so on the back, all right, later I will show you a closer look, but now I just give you a wider view. All right, I'm going to turn the speakers to the back. All right, so this uh, speakers uh, actually is quite big. As you can see, uh, the one is about my palm size. So I would say that it is a very solid speaker. All right, so on the back here, all right, so here you have this uh, wire, all right, this is the, if I'm not mistaken, this is the left side where you have the ID set button, which I will show you later, and also the LED lights. And in this uh, side here, you have the power adapter, all right, there's a connector to power your, your speakers, and also there's two wires, okay, these two wires will actually interconnect uh, between these two speakers. Uh, you have to connect yourself, there was, it's color coded, uh, it is uh, red and also black, you just have to insert it yourself and uh, do make sure that you don't over insert, right? you just insert until uh, the metal part, don't uh, insert until it overtakes the plastic, alright? So this is uh, how the bag will looks like, alright? So I will show you in a while's time a closer look, alright? So this is how it looks like on the right, 
so it's just uh, two wires you just clip the wires and it will actually work so in the box itself it includes an adapter this is actually a 59 watt adapter i have mine is the uk plug version all right so this uh wire that's interconnect between this speaker is six meter in length so it's about 18 feet so it's actually very long eh? so if you are putting from one side to the other side it will actually work all right let me, let me just show you a closer look all right so this is a closer look of the speakers as you can see this is the samsung surround speakers this is the left all right so there's an id set button this is the link and standby all right uh, and this is the description all right this is the x mm stand for malaysia version i'm not sure what's the x stand for uh, us they have the z <laughs> all right so this is i uh, just take this this is my serial number just covered up a bit so and then this is the right okay this is the right surround right so you do get as you can see this is actually the sticker all right and then this is the plus and minus you just have to push it down to connect it yep so yep it's uh, really simple and uh, of course this is the adapter as you can see it states here uh, 59 watt and yeah of course uh, this is a uh, 59 watt and 19 watt wattage and uh, it is uh, 3 ampere yeah 3.11 so it's a 59 watt all right so yeah so that's all all for this yeah and this is a uk plug all right okay so now i have a plug in to my tv and this is my soundbar in front of me so what you need to do is to get this controller all right uh, basically is to hold this uh, button the top button when you are actually facing the sound bar okay so what you need to do first you need to turn off the sound bar uh, now mine is on standby so what i need to do is i need to have do a reset first because i have connected previously so to reset you just hold this until the blue lights uh, starts to blink all right when it starts to blink this is actually how it uh, comes with when you first uh, plug it in so what you need to do is to hold this all right and you see my sound bar hold it until you see the id set all right when you see this id set let's look at this button here let's look at the light all right it will become solid blue so as you can see now it is actually connected all right so this is how you can actually connect the 9200s to your speaker all right that's uh, actually pretty simple I will say I will share with you some of the settings that I use and also uh, play some uh, sound for you to hear. So after that, you just turn on your sound bar, right? Make sure this in the uh, arc, right? So I'm using the uh, arc for this sound bar. It depends which model. If yours don't have arc, you can use the optical. All right. So as you can hear, you can see now I'm using the sound bar, and uh, what I do is I will go to the expert settings and uh, as you can see there is a digital output so if you are playing netflix this digi dolby digital and digital plus will appear so as i mentioned if your soundbar supports dolby digital plus then you'll be able to use it so if you're experiencing the sound of your soundbar is low i suggest you to use dts new right this is dts and samsung so this is what i use most of the time i used to watch youtube and the sound quality is uh, locked enough all right so let me just show you how i increase the uh, rear speaker level right so on the remote you need to press the setting button all right let me focus all right so you have to press this one all right let me just give a focus all right so what i need to do is i press settings treble bass audio sync rear can you see this there is a rear speaker all right you press again then it will say rear level what you need to do is you press up and down plus five can you see this all right so i would suggest you to put the highest plus six so that you get the loudest sound from the real speaker all right so when i play a music so the side speakers there will be sound Right, I don't have a specially uh, sound to actually record this video but 
you actually get the sound coming out from all the speakers. Coming to the conclusion of this video, if you ask my personal opinion whether you should get this wireless rear speaker kit, yes, the answer is definitely because it does enhance the sound of the movie that you are watching. But it also has some drawbacks and now I want to talk about the drawback. So you need to know that the A series soundbar, right, the A650, uh, the a550, A450, and even the newer B series, the B650, B550, B450, uh, B450, those does not come with Dolby Digital Plus. Alright, so if you are you love to watch Netflix, and Netflix audio it is using Dolby Digital Plus. So what does it mean that your speakers won't be playing at 5.1 channels around sound? So if you are watching Netflix and you're using the speakers I just mentioned, then this will just be stereo. So basically, you are actually mirroring the back, the front speaker to the back speaker. So you are actually getting stereo, but at a wider uh, sound. Okay, so because I'm using an A-series uh, soundbar, so when I watch Netflix, it will just be in stereo. All right, I don't get 5.1 because Netflix is using Dolby Digital Plus and my soundbar only support Dolby Digital. So if you want to use Dolby Digital Plus and you want to watch Netflix with it, you need to get the Q600A, the Q600B, or even the S60 series. Those that support the Dolby Digital Plus. Right? This is something that you have to take note, right? So if you are watching Dolby Digital and you have a Blu-ray player, yes, it will work in 5.1 channel. Okay? Because this does have Dolby Digital. So if your movie that you're watching the sound is uh, encoded in Dolby Digital, yes, it will work in 5.1, no issue with that. But you just have to take note if you are watching those streaming apps, uh, probably like even Disney Plus where they use Dolby Digital Plus, then you will not be able to watch it because this, uh, it depends on your uh, soundbar itself, right? So if your soundbar does not have the uh, audio format, you cannot experience 5.1. All right, just this is something you have to take note but if you are watching Dolby Digital, no issue, right? Even if uh, your speakers only have two channels, you add this two, all right? Based on the user manual, you will actually get 4.1 channel, all right? So you do get the back surround sound as well if you are using Dolby Digital, all right? So this is something you get to take note of. And uh, in terms of sound quality, I believe, yes, this is, is actually sounds very good. Uh, do make sure that you always uh, set it to the loudest plus six that I've shown you. I believe that is actually the best quality you can get. And uh, yeah, just for the price of, uh, for now that I got it, uh, it's about 415 ringgit in Malaysia. So uh, it depends uh, where you are getting this from later on. So do check the prices, but I believe that uh, this speaker does actually uh, enhance uh, the sound of your soundbar. Alright, so guys, if you have any question you are not sure, you can leave it in the comments section down below. If you find this you, uh, video helpful and is useful, do remember to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends whoever is buying a Samsung a soundbar and also is considering the rear speaker. Alright, so that's all for me for today. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.